good enough isn't. We have to create a new normal. We have to push ourselves to continue to grow, to be a student, to build your business. You must first build yourself. It's not success you want. You want significance. You want fulfillment. You want to have purpose. Every company has a mission statement to strive for fair profitability, to be the premier provider of dot, 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 you fill in the blank. But do you really get excited in the morning? I mean, your significant other says, why are you in such a good mood? And you say, I'm striving for profitability for the stakeholders, honey. Going to networking events when you're a chicken cutter, you have to create opportunities. But you know what? If it looks like, it smells like it, it's probably not, but who knows who this guy is and he might know somebody who knows somebody. I look at every person I meet as an opportunity, not to use them, but to be a connector. Change your whole mindset. Stop selling, try to connect. How many of you remember this billboard? Went up on a Friday, CNN ran it, Good Morning America, Gore blame Bush, Bush blame Gore. When Monday came and helicopters were circling by, we had this, one, two, three, hire, which was our old company. How much would that have cost to get all that exposure? Wall Street Journal front page, USA Today front page. Millions? Who knows? It was free. It's 800 bucks for the art, I think, something like that. And we got into the minds of the people. And if I ask people, what are the advantages of experience? You know what they say? Knowledge, confidence, the ability to know what to do because of experience. You, you've been around the block. But then I ask another question. What are some of the disadvantages? You know what I hear? Knowledge, confidence. Because too much knowledge, you become a know-it-all. Too much confidence, you become cocky. And I want you to think about the lessons that you learned. I know I learned a lot of lessons over the past year. You know, when people were whining and complaining, I, I looked at it as an opportunity to learn things. Number one thing I learned is become a leader in your life. Let me tell you the one word definition of leadership. It's quite simple, influence. The ability to influence other people.